Good morning, YouTube. It's me, EP. It is Saturday, February 14th. Yeah, Valentine's Day. Oh, it's 5.06 in the morning, and um, I'm on the toilet before I work out. And you know what sucks? I wake up at 4 in the morning to sit on the toilet, and nothing comes out. But as soon as I take my pre-workout, I have to take a dump. So now that's what I'm doing. Alright guys, it's me, EP, and uh, as you saw, we start off the back, the pull day with some uh, wide grip pull-ups, then four sets of ten, then I jumped into bent over dumbbell rows, which I like better than barbell rows, you guys know that already. Then I jumped into the single arm cable rows, which, like I said, I like these over the dumbbell rows because I can feel a better contraction with these. You guys try it out. You know, you might, you might feel the same as I feel. You never know until you try something out. So I go and try those out. I do about uh, four sets of twelve, I believe. And uh, the key is to uh, pull and squeeze. You gotta stretch that lat so it'll grow. Then we jumped into some wide grip pull downs, lat pull downs. This is a perfect exercise to widen that back, widen those lats, make it look like you got some wings back there flying. And uh, I'm gonna let you guys hear this clip right here, coming up right now. It only goes up to 200. So everything's felt light so far. So I'm adding a 45 pound plate. Let me show you guys if you don't believe me. 45 pound on top of it. So yeah. Um, the workout, the uh, everything felt light to me. So uh, this particular machine only goes up to 200 pounds. So I had to add a 45 pound plate. Uh, I think about got about six, maybe seven reps with this. Probably even more. I don't even really know. But yeah. Then I jumped into T-bar rows. This is the last set. I'm working with uh, 25 pound plates instead of 45 pound plates. I feel with the 45s, it restricts your movement to go all the way up. But with the 25s, you're able to go all the way up and put and pull through your uh, through your elbows to your chest, so you can hit that uh, that middle of the back. And then I jumped into some uh, seated cable rows. I did about four sets, I believe, maybe three to four sets. I did about probably 10 to 12 reps with these. Just get that whole back in there, get all them reps. Then I jumped in to finish the workout. I did some back extensions to hit that lower back. Just trying to get that, that good, that V taper back there. Trying to get that Christmas tree action. You want to get that you got to hit these back extension and lower back as much as it hurts and it's it's painful you still got to get it in man. some people like to use weight I just like to use body weight so that does conclude this workout keep watching the rest of the vlog on, guys it's me EP yeah, I know it's dark I'm in the car right now but you can see me a little bit right a little bit okay here we go all right <clears throat> just getting off work 12 hour shift I am tired it is Valentine's Day um, I did drink like a cup probably one I had like two cups of espresso not back to back but 
um, one after the other, not back to back, right back to back. I had two cups of espresso, one of the cups had regular coffee in it. Reason being is because I told my wife that I was gonna take her and my daughter out to dinner. She FaceTimed me while I was at work and uh, she saw that I was tired in my eyes because I can get real, real tired. She was like, oh, I already told, I already told our daughter that we're going out to eat and all that. I was like, uh, we can still, we can still go, we can still go, we can still go. So that's the reason why I drank the coffee. So now I'm in this traffic, headed home so I can take a shower and get dressed and then go to where we're gonna go. All right, guys, made it home. But, um, yeah, if you're wondering, I am on the toilet right now, I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone. Um, I just wanna got, I wanted to show you guys something that I made that you could possibly want, maybe. If not, it's cool. I used, I just made it for myself, but I mean, if people want them, I don't have a problem letting them buy it or whatever, so. Shirt right here. Train hard all day. It's this shirt right there. If you would like to get one, you can. I will put the link in the description. All right, guys, we're at Stack to see if we can even get in. It is Valentine's Day, so everything is packed. Yeah, Alright guys, we're at the table. I don't know if you guys ever been to Stacked, but what it is, is you use an iPod or iPad to order your food and make what you want. You got burgers, pizza, macaroni and cheese, all kind of stuff. All right, guys, this is the iPad right here. What you do, you pick what you want. Pizza, fries, mac, kid stuff, appetizer. All that stuff. You pick what you want, and you send it to the kitchen, and they bring in your food. Pretty nice. It's like one of my favorite restaurants. Yeah. you're done with the order, you hit send everything. Did everyone order? Yes. Why are you hiding? It's a video. Oh. Right? Right? <laughs> Turkey burger, wrapped in lettuce, and some chicken tenders, and they got all this goodness over here. You know, I got a salad. Eat. She got a salad. She got a chicken tenders. I got a side salad. She got the beef. Mm. I guess gluten free. <laughs> Leaving stacked, we get in the car, go home. We are full, we are tired. It's time to hit the bed. But I gotta get some gas, cause I'm on empty. I'm on empty, I'm rolling around on empty. The 
Good morning, guys. It's me, EP, and it is Sunday, February 15th. Just left church, and now we are at Denny's. About to eat some breakfast. All right, food here. Let me show you what I got. I got two hearty wheat pancakes. Philly cheese steak with egg whites skillet. Time to eat. All right, guys, that's a wrap on Denny's. I'm full, very full. And I gotta go to work later on today. So this meal is probably gonna help me with my leg day. I'm gonna do legs today, squat front squats not back squats front squats so uh yep get in the car go home and chill out what's wrong with baby game of thrones season three is in episode eight What is up, YouTube? It's me, EP, and it is 4:34 on this Sunday evening, and I'm about to go do some legs which I told you guys earlier. Front squats and whatever else I wrote up for myself to do. Here's the shirt on me right here, you know, leg day on a Sunday. But anyway, after leg day, I'm uh, have to work 12 hours, OT, OT money. Gotta get that money. I mean, I'm not a big YouTuber, so I mean, I don't get paid off my YouTubes. Right now, I'm just putting out videos and vlogs for you guys that are subscribed or that come across my channel whenever you do. Maybe one day, I'll be up there, but right now, it's just a work in progress. Sitting in every night. Yeah. Push start the whip. The whip. Brought it straight to life. To life. Blowing on the uh -huh. Just got to the gym by the transform to the GoPro. All right, watching the workout. All right, guys, it's leg day today on a Sunday, which I usually do not work out on a Sunday, but since I had to go to work, I decided to go ahead and get a leg workout in. And uh, this is the first leg day of the week for me, so I do front squats and uh, start off warming up with a um, 25 on each side. Then I put a 10 on each side, and now, then a 45, and now you see me doing 205. Doing a pyramid scheme, so the reps start off pretty, pretty, uh, it's a lot of reps starting off. Then once I get down to the heavier weight, the, uh, the reps tend to, they start to drop off. So I, right here, you got me doing 225. Front squats, I feel, are better for your quads, overall quads. Um, and for me, I feel like my form is way better. I probably said this before, it's probably a broken record, but that's just me. I feel like my form is just way better with front squats than they are with back squats. But I am working on my back squats, and uh, front squats is actually helping my back squats get a little bit better as far as. I'm ever able to squat a little bit more heavier. So uh, yeah, overall it's just helping out my leg strength. And uh, I was introduced to front squats when I was in college. Um, I think I got about up to 395 in college on the front squats. But 
trying to work my way back up. Uh, I think I got about 280 on the bar right now. And I'm um, just trying to get low and try to explode up. Still need to get my form up with this. I'm doing a cross, cross the hand uh, form. I see everybody else doing the, the Olympic form, which I cannot get it down because my wrists are not that uh, flexible. And right here, you got me doing 315. I'm not counting the reps. I don't know how many reps I'm, I did with each set. But uh, let me have you guys listen to this clip right here coming up right now. Going for a front squat PR right now. This is 370 on the bar. 345 pound plates. The 25 and the two and a half. 270. I mean 370. 370. So as you heard, this is a PR for me. I was just, I felt hype. I just wanted to do it and see if I can do it. I had to bring uh, the safety bars into it because I didn't want to, you know, if I failed, I just want to drop it there. So I felt like my depth could have been, my depth could have been a little bit lower, but hey, I got it. I got it up. Then I jumped into stiff leg dead lifts and I'm doing it with a barbell. I just started doing it with a barbell. I usually do it with dumbbells, but with the regular barbell with the weights already on it, it uh, actually feels better. I'm able to control it more. You learn new things every day. You gotta try it and see how it works for you. Then I jumped into leg press. I believe I did about four sets. I did some high reps, probably 12 to 15 reps with this. Um, that, that big weight on the end, that's a 100 pound plate. There's not a lot of 45s in that gym, that particular gym. So this 100 pound weight does uh, help me as far as the limited amount of weight that is, is in there. Oh yeah, my high reps be burning, man. You can see my face, but you just gotta push through it and keep going. That's the only way you're gonna grow your muscles. Then I went into lying leg curls, which is it's my favorite accessory movement because I mean I feel it all in my hamstrings. If you do it right, you will feel it in your hamstrings, and uh, it's gonna burn. I did about I want to say 15 to 20 reps, going for reps, man. Then I jumped into leg extensions, and uh, this does I ended. The workout with leg extensions. I, I think I killed my legs with these, man. I don't even know how many reps I end up doing or sets, but this does conclude the workout. Uh, continue to watch the vlog. All right, guys, just finished that workout. Man, I think I spent like an hour on front squats, but hey, had to get that work in. Then I did my deadlifts, leg extensions, leg press and uh, lying leg curls. Legs are pretty beat up right now, so gotta go take a shower, get something to eat, and then work. All right guys, about to go get some uh, something to eat real quick before I get to work. No. Can I get a um, low carb superstar? A low carb what? Superstar. Uh, you want that with cheese? Yes. Would like to make it a combo? No. Okay, would I like to uh, do it? That's it, yes. Does the order look correct on the screen? Yes. That'll be 761. All right, thank you. My pleasure. So, yeah, I'm at Carl's Jr. <clears throat> Got to reward my legs for allowing me to hit a PR today. So I'm just gonna get a low carb burger and some crisp cut fries. No drink, I'll just drink some water. And, uh, cause I know the meals that I have are not gonna do anything for me. So I'll eat those when I'm, when it's time for me to eat them. 
going on everybody it's me EP today I am sick and snot just coming out of my nose coughing and the only reason why I'm up right now out of the bed is because I have to take my daughter to school I figured since I'm gonna be up I might as well get my gym action out the way because I know myself I know my body if I don't if I would have went back home and sat down I wouldn't have got up so why not just get ready to go to the gym before you drop your daughter off and then just go to the gym it's only about 8 probably 8.05 in the morning right now it's Tuesday January 17th so I'm gonna try to get some filming in. If I can't, it's only because the gym is packed. Trying to set a story, I don't even know the number package. Who you with? What you play? I was paying mama's rent when I was turning 17. So dirty like the hand and never play. My ex asked me where you moving, I say on the better things. Yeah, Tim. Let's go to the gym. Just ready to get this workout in, get it over with. All right, guys, we're about to jump it off. This is a push day right here. This is the second push day of the week. So my emphasis is going to be on the shoulders. And then secondary is going to be the chest and then um, triceps. So I started off with OHP's overhead press. Uh, I did 185, five sets, only four sets. I did eight. And the last set, I was able to get seven. Um, seven reps Keep in mind. I am I was sick going through this workout. So I was just trying to push through then I jumped into Front raises with the dumbbell. I mean the barbells after front raises I jumped into rear delt flies um, To get those rear delts popping out Then after rear delt raises I did some cable side lateral raises from behind the back I just put these in I used to do these a while ago but I put them back into the the second push day so on the first push day I'll do machine um, machine uh, lateral raises so I just decided to put the cable raises in to single out each shoulder isolated and uh, so far it's been it's been good then I jumped into the chest portion of the push day with some uh, machine chest press I try to go pretty heavy and I try to do a lot of reps because I like to feel that burn man once I feel that burn I just try to push through and keep going because uh, Man, that chest can get burnt up so quick. Then I jumped into some seated cable crossovers or cable flies. I like to hit these, get the top of the chest right there. Can't go wrong with the top of the chest. Everybody needs uh, the top of the chest. You can't have too much of it. <laughs> then I jumped into the tricep portion of the push day and I did some incline skull crushers. Um, I like doing these because they really hit that, that tricep head real good. Uh, I think I did about four sets of this. Worked all the way up to the 110 pound uh, barbells. Then I jumped into to end the workout with some machine dips. I just uh, pretty much went to failure with these until it burned and burned and burned. Just keep going. And that does conclude the end of the workout. Keep watching the rest of the vlog. Just wrapped up a uh, push day. Um, even though I was sick, I was managed. I managed to get through it. Uh, I didn't see any change in strength. I was able to get a. Uh, 185 OHPs for four sets of eight. The last set only got seven, but it's all right. But now I'm gonna go see if I can get on the basketball court for some cardio, see how that goes. 
and see how long it takes me to get on the court. If it takes too long, then probably just get on the treadmill for a minute and then go home. Nice all right guys just wrapped up workout and some cardio i did not want to get on the treadmill and do my cardio i wanted to play basketball there were some games going or a game going and they were still in the game trying to get it over with. So, I mean, it took them forever to finish the game. But it's like, as soon as I, I walked in there, I mean, I don't even really play basketball like that, but as soon as I walked in there, the game was when the game was over, everybody taking their shoes off and sitting down and don't want to play no more. So I'm like, man, y'all weak for that. Y'all play one game and then y'all gonna leave. I hate when people do that. But anyway, I ended up doing uh, cardio on a treadmill. I did it for about 15, 16 minutes. Uh, burned about 200 calories. I was doing two minutes of jogging. And then I did a minute of uh, running full speed. I haven't done cardio in a while. Not a while, but in a, about a week or two. You feel it in your, uh, your calves and your shins. My calves get real tight. So that's the reason why I hate doing cardio on the treadmill. Um, I gotta probably invest in those uh, compression sleeves for your, your calves, so it'll relieve the uh, the tightness while you're running. The sickness has come among me. I really don't get sick, but for some reason, I'm sick. Why well, I keep looking at the record button? All right, guys. Man. I'm gonna show you. No, I'm not gonna show you what I'm gonna eat because it's the same stuff: ground turkey and some mixed vegetables. I'm just trying to hurry up and eat so I can uh, take a shower and go to Costco and get some more food for the week. I gotta get a new Costco card because I can't seem to find mine. Name that show. What show is that? Yeah. Family matter. All right, guys. Just arrived at Costco. I gotta get a replacement card before I can. Come in. Yeah. Take a picture and I get it. Digital. All right, guys. Just got my Costco card, which took forever. Uh, to go through all these hoops just to get a freaking. So I got it. Oh, it worked. What happened? I got the call. Have her verify the information. Am I just giving her a birthday and all that stuff? We in the freezer. It's cold. What kind of fruit should we get? You got strawberries already, y'all. Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Here? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get that. Time to get them games. Egg whites. Nine. I don't know. You want to get one more of these? Or? You gotta try this onion butter and see what all the fuss is about. I can't be eating that. <laughs> these are so $10.99 for this. Thing. It better be worth it. It better be worth it. So I'm saying you should get somewhere else where it doesn't cost much. It's not gonna cost lower. We at Costco, remember? Oop, somebody been snacking at Costco. <laughs> Waiting in line on all this stuff. Please place your item on the magic bullet. Let's see what that's about. Just got home. We gotta unload all this stuff. I feel like I'm getting a second workout. I feel like crap. My head hurts. I'm hot. hot. She won't be quiet. She keeps singing. I just want to lay here. All right. I got a package. And the wife is opening it up since I'm laying down. Yeah, you so see good. it. 
Oh, it's that dude. Yeah. Christian Guzman. Gu- nice the, the, fabric. Christian Guzman. This is his new clothing line right here. His new apparel line for fitness. It's called Alpha Elite. Why you didn't get me one? All right, guys. Make sure you get my props. Got a snack over here. We just got a Nutribullet. Trying to test that out. See how it is. The wife made uh, me a little snack. It has kale, spinach, pineapple, blueberries, yeah. and almond milk. Yeah. It's pretty good. It looks kind of gross. It's like guacamole, but it is good, though. I gotta give it the Chris Jones uh, lips. In the car right now. About to go pick up my daughter from school. I'm going pretty early because I want to take a nap in the car. I'm tired. I have no energy. I'm surprised I had energy to work out, but I was able to do that. So I'm going to go pick her up and then take her to the mom's, her nana's house for a little bit. It sucks when you're sick, but I try to just push through it. I don't really get sick often. When I do, I just try to push through it. I mean, if I lay down the whole day, I don't accomplish nothing. It's like, don't you get in those moods where you just sit on the couch and you got your shows on and you don't want to do nothing but just sit there? Yeah, me either. Hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. I know I don't have a lot of subscribers, but the ones that I do have are watching my vlog and enjoying it. I don't get a lot of views, but I mean, you gotta start off from somewhere. So everybody doesn't come into the YouTube world with uh, 100,000 subscribers.